Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to add custom derivation paths for your Ethereum counts on a Trezor device. So let's get started. All right, so due to the Ledger Recovery Service, there were a lot of people asking me how to migrate their assets over from a Ledger device to a Trezor device. It's not very difficult to take the seed phrase of your Ledger device and import it into your Trezor device. This is a quick and easy way to simply migrate over to a different device without having to move any of your assets on the blockchain and incur any transfer fees. The only issue that I encountered when I did this was when I went to Trezor Suite and added my Ethereum account, I noticed that only one of my Ethereum accounts was showing up in the Trezor Suite. And if I tried to add a new one, it basically just created an empty one for me. If you'll notice in my Ledger Live, I have two different Ethereum accounts that I created using Ledger Live. So Trezor does not see that secondary Ethereum account. And that has to do with the way that Trezor handles the derivation paths. When creating an Ethereum account, Ledger uses BIP32 or BIP39, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, to create your Ethereum accounts, and Trezor uses BIP44. So basically, when you import your Ethereum account into your Trezor suite, you don't see any secondary Ethereum accounts that you created over on your Ledger device. So what you're going to need to do is add a custom derivation path. Unfortunately, you can't do that in Trezor suite, and you can't do it in MetaMask. Uh, but there is a way to do it using a service called mycrypto.com. Uh, basically, the crux of the matter is that when Ledger uh, creates a secondary Ethereum account, it ticks up the derivation path by adding a one in this field here. So your default account is going to look like this. The Trezor suite will find this account, but it will not find this account that has this custom derivation path. And if you have more than two accounts, then uh, the ledger would have added using this derivation path, going on up between one, two, and three. So basically what you need to do is go over here to mycrypto.com, choose Trezor, and choose Ethereum. Click Next. You'll connect your Trezor device. Make sure that you have your Trezor device connected. And then you'll need to do this export here a couple of times. You're exporting the public keys here. All right, you'll click continue here, do another export. Now you might have to export your public key several times while it scans addresses. Just be patient, you will finally get to this point. <laughs> okay, so here is your default account, right? This is the same one that you can see over in Trezor Suite. So in order to see that second account, we'll have to uh, from here, uh, instead of just adding the one account, let's go ahead and add the custom derivation path. And we can call this anything we want. I'll just name it the same thing I named it over in Ledger Live. And then that custom derivation path uh, for my secondary account would be the one that has the number one in this field. I can copy this into my clipboard, paste it in here, and there's that custom derivation path. We'll just click Add uh, D-Path. It's going to ask us to do this export a few more times. All right, and now you can see that that secondary account is showing up. Right now, if you had more than two, then you would continue to do this using uh, the incremental derivation pass, right? One, two, three, four, however many accounts you created in Ledger Live and stored Ethereum in. Right. Once you've got them all in here, you can just click add two accounts or three accounts, however many you had, and then they will show up here. You can scroll down and you can see both of these accounts and their balances and all of the tokens that are in these two accounts will be accessible over here on the right side. Right. They'll also show up here in balances as well. 
with your breakdown. That's how you gain access to the additional Ethereum accounts that you are, are using in Trezor that you may have created over on your Ledger device. Uh, it's kind of a specialized problem for people that have imported uh, seed phrases, but I wanted to throw it out there if you were having this issue. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.